Hey guys, KJ5 here, and today we are going over EKG Part 7, as denoted here on the board. Let's get into it. So, actually, uh, today's video, it's all going to be about atrial enlargement, and while you are here, I do request that you consider subscribing to my channel with post notifications if you do. Really appreciate it. And let's get into it. Let's go to our display. So we're talking about atrial enlargement here. So let's write it down. Atrial enlargement. So we had to, so we're talking about atrial depolarization. So we had to talk about the P wave. So if we draw a normal EKG wave, oh my God, it recognize it, it it didn't understand. I have to draw it in segments, not in one straight go. So this would be the P wave, and that represent atrial depolarization oh let's get this down that represents atrial depolarization so a normal p wave is 0 0.12 seconds in duration and it, on the ekg paper the voltage is it does not exceed 2.5 millimeters on the ekg paper and the first part, so if we take a P wave, this part represents right atrial depolarization, and this part represents left atrial depolarization. So we use leads 2 and V1 when checking for atrial enlargement. Why leads 2 and V1? So for lead 2, it's situated nearly parallel to the flow of the current through the atria and that makes it ideal and lead one v1 is oriented perpendicularly um perpendicularly to the um, flow of the electricity electricity and that also makes it ideal so the uh it also allows the separation of the right and left atria which makes it biphasic biphasic i don't know uh so we had obviously since there's a right and left atria and there are two atria we have to talk about right and left atrial enlargement so let's go right atria let's do right atrial enlargement first So the amplitude of the first portion of the P wave increases. And the width does not change. And the enlarge uh, when an enlargement of right atrium causes the right atrium to dominate the left atrium electrically um electrics in like matters of electrically electrically <laughs> in the matters of electricity yeah electrically And I can show you the waves from lead 2 and lead V1. And these waves would show right atrial um, enlargement. So this is how lead 2 would look like. And this is how lead V1 would look like. And that is how right atrial enlargement would look like on the EKG. Let's move the EKG wave down. Oh, we accidentally scrolled down. Okay. Now let's do left atrial enlargement. So for 
Oh yeah, I forgot one thing. When diagnosed, the P wave has an amplitude ascending 2.5 mm in mm in leads uh, two, three, and AVF. Okay, for left atrial enlargement, the second portion of the P wave. As mentioned earlier, this is a portion of the P wave, and this is a portion of the, um, this is the first portion, this is the second portion. So, it's the um, terminal position of the P wave it, to diagnose left atrial enlargement. The terminal position of the P wave has to dip more than one millimeter on, below the isoelectrical point on lead v1 and v lead v1 actually has a large negative um large negative uh deflection because it overlies the right heart the position of the lead it also requires the terminal position of the p wave should it has to be at least one small block in width on the ekg paper so we have to write it down And it also has to be more, yeah, terminal position of P wave should be at least one terminal position of P wave. I forgot that. Should be at least one block or that is around 4 m mm on the no 0 0.04 seconds sorry and i do have the waves so for lead one it would look like this no, no, no. Nah, I'm, I'm getting this wrong. Yeah, around that and lead a, um, no, V1, it would look like, ah. Let me redraw lead one, actually. I'm pretty sure I got that wrong. Like that. Lead V1, it would look like... Nah! Uh, no. Like, it's pretty... Oh my god, notability is not helping me out here. Like that. And... We can draw a normal P wave in both the leads if you want. It would look like this in around that in lead one and for lead V one would look like this. And that's all. So that was it for this video. We're doing atrial enlargement, EKG part 7. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, well, okay. And EKG part 8 will be coming out soon. KDF85 out. Bye-bye. See ya.